Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian married within three weeks of dating, but no one knew that he was secretly involved with actress Taraji P. Henson. Taraji was dumped and replaced overnight, but she stayed quiet because she had seen so much worse in her past. Once the fist came. Now, 10 years after rejecting her and famously getting divorced, Lamar reveals he regrets choosing Khloe over Taraji. I just wish I would have done things different. But, uh... But was there more to the breakup? Taraji finally speaks on the betrayal. As it was started with the bruises and, you know, grabbing and things like that. And then once the fist came, I'm just missing a piece of my lip to this day. Oh my gosh. Taraji writes in her memoir, I fell onto the bed crying and holding my mouth, blood seeping out of my lips and across my teeth. Wait, who was hitting Taraji? Her high school boyfriend, Mark. And at the time I had my son and I was like, I don't want my son around this. That's when I knew I had to go because no one wakes up and goes, hey, I want to get beat up. I want to be a punching bag. Sometimes it's just what love looks like is skewed because of your upbringing. What does she mean exactly? Taraji grew up with a troubled father. You talk about your first memory in the book of your father trying to kidnap you. He suffered PTSD. Mm -hmm. He was an alcoholic. My mom suffered a very abusive relationship with my dad. But Taraji was unaware about the abuse for many years because her mother was hiding it from her. My father told me. And then I went to my mother and I was like, Mom, why didn't you ever tell me any of this? And she said, because I never wanted to destroy. You need your father. Most women would become bitter mm -hmm. and angry. My mother never shut down to love. Her mom, although she felt like she was doing something positive, it almost taught Taraji to not vocalize or demonize her abusers. And it also feels like she was choosing men similar to her father, so in a way he was also impacting the decision she was making. Yes, Taraji finally left Mark and the abuse behind. She moved to LA with her son to pursue her dream of acting. And just as things were starting to work out, something unexpected happened. It was in the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was stabbed to death, it was the worst way you could Taraji P. Henson's ex-boyfriend, Mark Johnson, has been brutally murdered. There's so much hate in the world and someone would do that. She couldn't tell her son that his father was murdered. I couldn't, it wouldn't come out. Yeah. I told him he died in an accident. I was trying to protect him. You know, I didn't want his joy to leave and it did. Yeah. And I have so much guilt. So Taraji ends up doing exactly what her mother did. Exactly. Taraji was not only trying to protect her son, but she also wanted to give him a better life. That's why she channeled all the pain into building her career, and her hard work was finally paying off. Taraji P. Henson is nominated for an Oscar for her role in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So that wasn't the only big thing that happened to her that year. She actually met somebody very unexpected. I met Taraji at an HBO party, and uh, you know, we hit it off right away. And I like really, 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 really started liking her. I want the one. I want my best friend. Taraji was blindsided by Lamar because she thought she'd found the one, but that was far from the truth. You guys dated for a while. I guess you said it was one of the happiest times of your life. Yeah, she was a, a beautiful, beautiful young lady. What happened to that relationship? I think I met a young lady named Chloe. Lamar Odom and Chloe Kardashian are set to tie the knot on national television. They literally had met within a month. They were engaged, getting married. That's literally a woman's worst nightmare. I'm always taking care of other people. When no one's there for me, that's when the rage comes out because it's like, how dare you? Did Taraji ever talk about Lamar in any of her interviews? No, she never actually speaks about him and it has something to do with her son. I have a son. I don't want them to be like, oh, mom dated this one, he dated that one. I can't do that. If you're not serious, don't even open your mouth. You don't get to I say like I that. dated Taraji P. Henson. Taraji was silently suffering and hiding her pain from the world until she reached her breaking point. I struggle with depression and anxiety, feeling like I don't want to go out in public. Then there will be days where my brain wouldn't stop racing, which would, I would think of the most worst scenarios. I started having thoughts about ending it. The undealt trauma in Taraji's life had finally caught up to her. Being a victim of domestic violence does a doozy on your mental health. And all of my relationships started looking the same, like two broken people trying to pick up the pieces. For the first time, Taraji finally decided to focus on herself. She went to therapy to heal the wounds from her past relationships. And the way we deal with it is be strong. Put on a strong face. Nothing's wrong with you. You don't have mental health. No one's perfect. They're, the perfection is the perfect lie. When my therapist said that, 
my wings sprout. You can find yourself in any bad situation in life. Guess who it is up to to get out of it? You, you have the power. And while this is happening, this is actually when Lamar and Chloe are starting to have their issues. Lamar was having extramarital affairs. He was indulging in drugs, alcohol, and he was actually found in a brothel, unconscious from a drug overdose. After Lamar's marriage ended, he had a realization and he made a confession. Things ended with Taraji because of being, me being an immature punk. I just wish I would have done things different. But, uh... So basically he realized he fucked up. But it was too late. Taraji had moved on. Taraji owns her journey and she inspires others to do the same. So many people are ashamed of their flaws. I'm not, um, or my past, because all of that made me who I am today. Taraji finally realized it's better to be single than in the wrong relationship. Now she's in her 50s, living the best single life along with her son.